Mr. Pennyworth. Yes, miss. Have we met? No. But you're the only man here who might conceivably be a security consultant. I'm Martha Kane. Miss Kane, please have a seat. A drink? A uh, cola, please. I saw your ad in the paper. First time that's paid off. Usually business comes by word of mouth. I'm new in town. I don't have many friends or I'd have sought a recommendation. I thought Pennyworth sounded like a trustworthy name. How can I help you, Miss Kane? I need a driver bodyguard. One day, two days at most. We can do that. Let's say five pounds an hour. Plus expenses, of course. Five pounds an hour is a lot of money. Your advertisement says ex-military. Yes, miss. Myself and all the boys. Well, I expect you're all calm, capable men who know the value of discretion. And the price of ignorance. There'll be no gunplay or violence. We'll be picking up a man and taking him to an airport. Discretion is needed because there's a warrant out for his arrest on charges of homosexuality. The British government is going to take this man to a room in a prison and cut his balls off. Well, that's not cricket, is it? Who is he to you? Nobody. He has good friends. I'm working for them. Funny sort of job. It's more of a hobby. I'm a photojournalist by trade. Thomas Wayne isn't a friend of yours, is he? I don't know the name. Hmm. Well, Miss Kane. You have a driver. This is in advance. I'd like to set off early tomorrow morning. Let's say six o'clock. Six it is. Miss Kane, you haven't told me where we're going. Do you need to know that now? Only if you need to tell me. I like you already, Mr. Pennyworth. <laughs> 